Hi there, I'm Robbie, and I'd like to show you something we've been working on over here at Rescue Time, and we are pretty excited about. It's a new dashboard that helps you visualize what your most productive days look like next to your least productive days, and it's called Rescue Time Comparisons. So let's have a look. You can get there by going to www.rescuetime.com slash comparisons. And it takes a little while to load, um, hopefully just a few seconds. Um, and yeah, here we are. So I'll scroll up so I can get the whole thing on the screen. But um, there's a, at first glance, there's a lot going on here, but I'll just walk through it real quick. Um, you have your lots of graphs, but you have you know your productivity. Um, this is uh, an average day over the past 60 days. It's taken all my data for the past 60 days and mashed it all together and figured out what an average day looks like. And so I can see how productive I am. I can see how that breaks down. Um, so I can see I'm mostly, I do a lot of very productive work, a um, little bit of very distracting work and some stuff that's in between. I can see that on average I'm about seven hours, just shy of seven hours. Um, you can also see the main categories that I work in, or that I spend time in when I'm on the computer, activities, um, and then some high-level overviews, which are sort of uber categories. Uh, I can see that mostly I'm doing software development and a little bit of stuff that is general business stuff, and then lots of email. Um, but then I also have these tabs up at the top that, so this was the average day, and I have a tab for the most productive days and the least productive days. And so if I click on that, you can see that everything changes a little bit. Um, you can see that I've gotten a little bit more productive, gotten 11% more productive than on the average day. Also work a little bit more. Uh, the categories have changed. Uh, well, the categories themselves haven't changed, but the, the amount of time I've spent has. Same with the activities. Uh, and I also have these little, these little insight bubbles um, around the dashboard that tell me on a day like, on my most productive days, I'm 60%, I'm doing 60% more software development than usual, um, which is pretty interesting. Uh, I also have these little charts over on, this chart over on the side that shows when my most productive days are. Uh, and in this case, I can see that I'm mostly productive on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Um, we'll see in a minute that that, you know, is, uh, if I flip over to my least productive days, it doesn't change a whole lot. So really what that tells me is that I don't have a single day that that really jumps out as incredibly unproductive or incredibly productive. Um, I also have down here, um, it says I'm 32% less focused on my least productive days. Uh, and this is, a, this is a way we're trying to figure out how to think about multitasking. And we're not entirely happy with this metric, but um, it's something that has seemed, um, seems, seems like it's on the right track. Um, so we'll be refining this over time. But the, the great thing about this dashboard is that I can click, I can toggle back and forth between these three states and I can see how my time changes, uh, which is good because there's a lot of information to take in. And this lets me just focus on one little bit and bounce back and forth. So I can see on my least productive days, I am reading a lot more uh, you know, news, blogs, things like that. Um, and... You know, my most productive days, I'm doing mostly coding and uh, and stuff like that. So um, yeah, we've um, we like the way this is going. We're going to be making making some more changes on it in the future, and we hope that it's useful for you. Thanks a lot.